I have 24 hours to recreate my favorite website from scratch with no internet and one of the most remote locations on earth, my backyard. I gathered my supplies, bowed my dog Addy farewell, and more unfortunately, the internet. Goodbye internet, I'll miss you. L didn't ask plus ratio you bozo. Welcome to the crib, let me give you the grand tour. So we've got my laptop, a sleeping bag, cream of celery soup, and my notebooks. <laughs> Honestly, what more do you need? Water? <sighs> I quickly launched up my laptop and opened up Microsoft Visual Studio, which would act both as my text editor and a convenient space heater for the next 24 hours. The idea is simple, recreate cool math games in 24 hours without the internet in the freezing cold, and I also have to go to school for 8 hours today and do homework. Easy, right? Should be simple. But what's cool math games, you ask? It's simply a catalog of more than 5,000 web games ranging from Papa's Pizzeria to Run2 to Poo. I sound like an ad, but this website is my childhood and I love it so much. I started a plan but quite quickly realized I couldn't just call my website cool math games. Not only is the domain name taken, it's just a bit, uh, felonious. You see, cool math games is trademarked so I've gotta harness whatever malevolent power these off-brand cereal brands have and come up with a unique name. Neat math, uh, neat math games is what I decided to call it, uh, anyways, after drawing the logo on my trackpad, I left camp because today's a Wednesday and I've gotta go to school. After a long day of legally required neural enrichment, I got back to where- oh, yeah, I still have a lot of things to do. Do homework? Uh, nah. I'll take that C for- for cancelled. My cousin's wedding? I can just buy those tasty mints online. Doctor's appointment? I'll call in sick. Cancelled. So wouldn't it be funny if I, like, I just totally stole the entire look, design, and color from Cool Math's website? Uh, just to be sarcastic, you know? Guys, it's not plagiarism. I- I was feeling a little inspired, okay? And just like that, the easy part's done. Now I've gotta make the game pages, the signups, the logins, the comments, the likes, and the dislikes. With plan in hand, it's time to choose a framework. A framework basically makes the website interactive, so you can create an account, leave comments, click the like and dis uh, feedback button. Without a framework, it's basically as useless as that Wix site I made for my yo-yo club in 7th grade. And I probably should have planned ahead of time because uh, I forgot to download one for this, and the only one I had already installed was PHP. It's older than me, 79.2% of websites use it, and it's got the Death Star. That's no moon, I'll tell you what. I spent the next hour making the registration system, but then realized I can't send a verification email without being connected to the internet. So for now, you have the options between UPS for scrum shipping, me throwing a rock through your window at 3am, or Boombox. Your verification code is... Zero. It was actually pretty interesting to code without the internet. I've gotten way too used to letting GitHub Copilot autocomplete all my stuff and just googling all my errors away. Whoa, settle down, that's way above my pay grade. I'm a professional copy paster, okay, look at my resume. Even with this inconvenience though, I was making pretty good progress, but now it's 5.30 and I can't go inside to get dinner. But here, look, I actually have a little trick. It was a weird experience to just eat in silence. It's my instinct to just open YouTube when I eat, but it's kind of nice sitting here. Five stars was pretty chill. With my hunger bar full, it's time to get back to work. Bam, comments, bam, fake ads, bam, existential dread. And I know, it's looking pretty neat already, but for a games website, it's <laughs> looking a bit gameless. Much like how I would be on a hunting trip. Even though I've made more than 30 games in my years of aliving, most of their source code are in the cloud and not on my laptop. And unfortunately, I'm not Zach King. So without the internet, they'll be stuck up there. I had to scrounge around my hard drive and make do with whatever junk games were lying around there. And the pickings were sparse. <laughs> we have Would You Slug, which I made for my first video, and if you're thinking it looks a bit like Will You Snail, you'd be mistaken, because that's definitely a slug. We've also got some awesome art. I don't know why this is in my games folder, but I'm getting pretty desperate, so I'll take anything. We've also got Corn Detasseler, which I made when I was 13 with a friend. We used to detassel corn for 9 bucks an hour, and bam, now we have about 10 games on here, none of which being remotely neat or related to math, but it does have games, so I see this as an absolute win. And there we have it, we've got likes, dislike feedback buttons, an array of interesting games, signups, comments, and oh, what's this? Light theme? Yes, we are! But before I can upload the website, I've got one more thing left to do. Honestly, surviving the night wasn't too bad. I kept some pepper spray in case the coyotes got any ideas, and I got like 20 blankets from inside, so I literally did not freeze because it was under 30 degrees. Also, it was like super sparkly outside. It doesn't really come through on video, but it was like I stole a package from Mark Rober. Anyways, good night, you guys. Uh, wish me luck. I will see you tomorrow.
Oh, uh, hello human. As we are currently in the ether, I'll make this snappy. My name is Hammond, and for every like, comment, and subscribe I get, Rotake gives me one penny to munch on. Whenever he posts, he gives half the money to St. Jude and the other half to a random subscriber. Congrats to this guy for winning, and our total's up to this much now. So let's make the world a little better with just a couple clicks. Hit the yellow subscribe button, rate five stars, click like, leave a comment, and have a great day. Oh, right, uh, yeah, we should probably wake him up, huh? Good morning. I woke up and my tent was more collapsed than FTX. Apparently the wind speeds had gotten to over 8 miles an hour overnight and uh... Yeah, it, it was an issue. Anyways, back inside, I logged onto my PC and found out that something unimaginable had happened. Somehow, someone caught word of what I was up to and leaked that I had <laughs> touched grass. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my job. With my reputation in shambles, all that's left to do is upload my website to the World Wide Web. I got the domain name neatmathgames.com and uploaded my files to a server. Now that we're up and running, let's see what the people think. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like there's some sort of copyright infringement going on here. Neatmathgames.com. I don't know what this is. But let's play Would You Slug. Oh no. Not this again. Okay, so this is literally just Will You Snail, which I'm an expert at, so we have nothing to worry about. Shit. <laughs> I like the giant waves of spikes. That's terrifying. I do pipe dreams. I am a Flappy Bird expert. It should be good. Oh, does does this game not work? I think. Oh, it's not playing. Game simply didn't work. Easily the best one here. <laughs> okay, so that's not just me. Corn Detasseler. Oh, the Kevin MacLeod song. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. I'm sorry, I've never detasseled corn before, so I'm not that good. Yes, we got it. We got it. I'm a pro. I missed one. Okay, we got it. We got it. Row complete. I'm an expert detasseler. What can I say? Huh? How did I miss one? Hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, next is art. Scratch! Yeah! <laughs> I'm waiting for something to happen. Beautiful art piece. This needs to be in a museum. Ironically, this is better than like half the games here. <laughs> Good job. This was sick. Well done. If it was this or Reddit, I would easily get rid of Reddit and just keep neat math games. Oh, frick you. <laughs> if the best YouTuber is Polymars, this is officially better than Cool Math Games. I'll have zero objections. Let's see if it can come back from this. Well, they hated it, and that's completely fine. In life, making stuff isn't just about what other people think of it, it's about what you learn from it, the memories and experiences you gain from making it, and the cease and desist orders you gain from them. I am legally obligated not to tell you why I took down Neat Math Games, and my lawyer told me to tell you I made this in good faith, but as someone who's pretty much only made video games, it was really fun to make a website for a change. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much, honestly. If you're not subscribed yet, please do consider because 2023 is gonna be the best year yet. Feedback is much appreciated. I read and reply to as many comments as possible, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Remember Hammonds, and thanks for watching.